Hi guys, this is Hang Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have the beautiful Dunya Navabi here. She lent me her canvas to create this makeup look for you. It's more like, I think a little fun holiday makeup. I hope you enjoy the video. Give the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram as well. And have a happy holiday. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always prep the skincare first. Dunya have a beautiful skin, amazing skin. We already have a little mask on before, but now I'm still gonna prep with all the product I'm going to do. The first product I always use is lip balm. Today I'm using Lano Lips 101 Ointment. This one is multi-purpose balm. You can use anywhere. You can use on the lips, you can use on the skin rash is perfect for newborn baby and is vegetarian as well so this one product you can use anywhere the second product i'm going to use is the dr barbara sturm ice cream this is very lightweight it does help to diminish or help for the dark circles and fine line. Dunya is really young still, so she doesn't need to worry about that. But I think preventative is great. It's beautiful under makeup for all skin type, and it's fragrant and cruelty free. For serum, I'm going to use the Hyaluronic Serum. This combination of low and high molecules of hyaluronic acid to replenish the skin. This for all skin type and it's fragrance free. This is a very beautiful hyaluronic serum. It's a lot of hydration. And the best way you do, like what I'm doing right now, you just press gently into the skin. Don't forget your neck, whatever left over. You can put anywhere else. For moisturizer, I'm going to use the same from Dr. Barrasturm face cream. This one is anti-aging benefit. It's ideally perfect for under makeup. I always say in every video, give some love to the skin. I always apply everywhere, the neck, the chest, the ear. Give your face a little massage. Next, I'm going to apply some sunscreen. This one is La Roche Posay Antilios <laughs> Oil Free Sunscreen SPF 50. And I mentioned before, I'm gonna include sunscreen every time because I think it's the most important step before makeup. And we used to film, well, we always film in studio, so I thought I don't have to put on, but I think this is a great reminder for everyone to use sunscreen and I think slowly I'm going to introduce to you what's some of the best sunscreen to wear under makeup because a lot of people worry about where sunscreen is ruining the makeup and it doesn't blend well but all the sunscreen I'm going to use are the one that really great for under makeup and the good thing about this one here it doesn't have any white cast you can see that and it doesn't sting in the eye at all and don't forget to cover the ear, the next area as well. And this is perfect for all skin type, 
including acne prone skin. Generally, when I do skincare prep like that, sunscreen, I think the skin is amazing to be ready for makeup already. But some people do like to use primer. So if you want to use primer, this is one of my recommendations. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Face Primer. This is one of the few that I like. So if you do use primer, I would recommend you to use this one. And it's a gel makeup primer. It does have that beautiful radiant finish and it's very lightweight. If you do want to use primer, this is a good one to use. For complexion, I'm going to use from YSL Beauty, the All Hours Luminous Matte Foundation and their new All Hours Precise Angle Longwear Concealer. This is pretty new, so this would be my first time trying them as well. For concealer, I'm going to use two shades. One shade is almost identical to the foundation shade I'm using and the other shade is a little lighter. I use it under the eyes, you know, all the high point. Danya has beautiful skin, so she doesn't need a lot of coverage. I'm going to go into you a very tiny, a few dots and I blend it out. You don't have to use too much when you have this beautiful skin, but this foundation is a full coverage foundation. So it does cover really well if you have acne, bronze or anything like that, acne skin or anything, you still can do that. But then you have beautiful skin, so I'm gonna use just a little bit only. This is a liquid formula. Like I said, it's full coverage if you want to get that full coverage. And it's matte finish but it's very lightweight feel. It doesn't, you see that? It's not heavy like a lot of matte uh, foundation. The only thing is that it does contain SPF 30. So it does have SPF in there. And it's also have hyaluronic acid uh, to add it for skincare benefits and hydration. You see that just a little bit and you're able to blend it out really well. It's covered really, really well. And another great thing is they have a lot of shades, like 40 different shades. And anywhere that you need more coverage, you just do a tippling motion like this. And not, you just do a little swipe, just even the skin out. Definitely when you look at the foundation, you may think that it is a little lighter than Dunya Natural Complexion, uh, but this is the closest shade that we have. We don't have many shades, so this is the closest shade. We try a shade deeper that we have, and it's a little too dark. Uh, we was going to mix it, but I said, there's no point. You know, we do it on camera, and you can, can see it, and uh, I want to explain it. The reason I want to show like this, because here is a tip for you about foundation. If you're the type of person who do not do contour, and bronzer and any of those jazz, this would be a two pair of the foundation for you. You know, because your neck is a little deeper and you know, you should use a little very close to that. But if you're the type of person who's gonna do contour, powder, bronzer, and bronzer and everything, the little bit lighter foundation like this is actually gonna help a lot because after you do all of those steps after, overall, she will look like the color foundation is perfect match and she won't look too dark. If you use the same shades up what she have on the neck and the chest here, and then you do contour and everything on top of that, overall her face will look a lot darker. I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain. So I personally recommend to you a shade somewhat pale like this. Then when you do all the other steps, Overall, she's gonna look with a very even complexion from top to bottom. For concealer, as I mentioned, I use two different shades. The first shade is the lighter color. So I use for under the eye area. This is a creamy texture. I mean, from my first impression, I quite like it. To me, it's more on the soft matte finish. 
and a very light texture, it's beautiful. Actually, even these shades alone, you can get away to do for the whole face. It doesn't have to be just the two different concealer. And what I do next is I use a pinpoint brush and I go to pinpoint any area that I want to cover. So I decided to use just the light shade because I think it's also matched pretty well. Uh, when we first picked out, we thought the dark shades of the concealer is pretty close to the foundation, but it may be a little too dark. That's what happens with makeup, you know, when you plan out, it might not be exactly the same when you actually put on the face. So we plan out, we use two different shades, but then the lighter concealer shades work great for both, so I just use that one. For contour, I'm going to use M Cosmetic So Soft Multi Face Place Bronze and Scoop. The shade I'm using is called Terra. I really like this formula. This and the Rare Beauty Bronze Stick, I think this is beautiful formula. It's very lightweight and it's very creamy. And the great thing about this is it's more a taupey color, so it's so great for contour. Can you know sometimes bronzer can be very warm on the face, and you can see this is more like a taupey. It's not too warm, so it's great if you want to use it for contour. And it's easy to blend. It does contain skincare ingredient like squalene, vitamin E. And I love because travel friendly, it's so small and easy. It's fragrant and gluten free and gluten free as well. You see that that's how you all you need to do for contour. It's very easy. A lot of people worry about I don't know how to do contour. I think if you apply directly in the skin like this, it will take you a lot longer to blend for any contour. But if you just do a little bit like this and you blend it out, it's pretty easy step to do. I love to do it just because it does bring back all the bone structure, it scoped the face really well. I know a lot of people say, oh, I'm not a contour person, I hate contour because the words alone scare people. But I think if you do a little bit well, it's actually framed the face really beautifully. You can see that the different one side and the other side. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So you see that just a little bit, but help to, you know, scoop the face really well. And like I say, the shade is very natural. I love it. This hip, that's like a natural shadow. It's not too warm. This is just fantastic. For powder, I'm going to use Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, the Ultra Blur. And the shade I'm using is just Translucent. And I set pretty much everywhere. I'm going to keep the skin pretty matte for this look. For bronzer, I'm going to use the NARA Cosmetic Laguna Talk Free Powder Bronzer. The shade I'm using is Laguna 2. This is a long wear finish and it's radiant finish. And I just use only a little bit to set where I put the contour stick earlier. This one is paraben and fragrance free. For eyebrow, I'm going to use two products from Refine, the 
brow pencil and the brow scoop gel and laminate effect. I'm going to use the brow pencil first. Dongya brow is really beautiful. I actually tweezed a little bit down here because I want to do that more extended brow on her. And as you can see like normally her brow just like this and a little lower, but I take the corner down and I think they just really open up. But like again, if you have full beautiful brow, you can leave the way your eyebrow is. For me, it's just because we're trying to do more extended look. That's why I create the brow like that. And it's not gonna change much on her eyebrow. Even I take this part off because she still have her full brow here. And because the brow on this side here, there's a little going down like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it up. I'm gonna stand everything out. But first, you see the very front here. I just fill it in a little more and it pulled out a little bit and my usual technique we just brush backwards like this and that way the brow look more natural it doesn't look too painted because when you draw this way sometimes it look quite painted you see just a little bit like that and then make this part a little fuller Refi, they only have three shades, and this is the light shade, but I think even their light shade pencil is pretty dark, just so you keep in mind. I feel it in here, and this part I feel it in that little gap that she has. And then you just pull out and extend it. And because from keep brushing like that, the eyebrows do gonna be very natural looking. Just really pull it out a little bit. It's more elongated. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So it will be something like that. And then I use the gel to lift everything up. For eyes, I'm going to use these four products. The first one is the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Weightless Eye Primer. You don't need to use primer, I do. I like to prime the eye first before I do eyeshadow. It's going a lot smoother. The second product is Pat McGrath Labs Perma Gel Eyeliner Pencil. It's called Shade. This is more like a taupey shade. It's more like a deeper taupey, it's not too light. And the new Byrado eyeshadow, five color. The shade is Self Illusion. I could be wrong, but you can always check on the description box. And then we list everything underneath there. I love all the shades. I love this here. I want to play with them a little bit. And I honestly picked up the shades, but I was not sure what I want to do with the shadow. So I'm just going to play with them. So you can play along with me. And they also have new mascara. This one is called Eroded Echo. The shade uh, is not black. I think it is a blue grayish color and it's interesting. So that's why I want to try it. So it's a great alternative for people who don't want a black mascara. They want a little off color. So it would be great. I'm applying some eyeshadow primer first. And this is weightless, natural finish. It's crease, fade and smudge free and it's vegan as well. So I just do a little wash like that over the eyelid. And sometimes I do a little bit on the lower lash as well. If I wanna do the look that I really smudge out the eyeshadow. I'm doing the same on the other side. To start, I'm going with this shade first.
and these are part of the holiday collection so I hope they still around when this video coming out it is more a creamier texture and it's luminous finish it's very shit you see I do a little bit at the time and they fragrant free Like I say, you know, the, the way I do, you see that I apply the shadow very gentle a little bit at the time. So you're never going to get fallout. It doesn't matter formula you use. You, if you want to be so rough and rush on the application, you will get fallout. out. doesn't matter where I shadow. So I do just a little bit like this. And then the same, I do a little bit on the brown bone area. I'm doing the same on the other side. So next, I'm going to use this brush with this color right now. And I think that's a great thing about makeup. There's nothing wrong or right in application. You just have to apply them. So I think I'm gonna play this one right here. A wash right out here. And the other one, I'm doing a little bit on the crease. The color is very complement each other, so you can play with them. And I'm gonna do a bit more pull out, you know, with the wash color. I just lift it up this way. And because Danya have really high cheekbone already, you don't wanna put too much color there. From the shadow, I mean, you can use highlight and everything after. So I'm just gonna use the color mainly from this part all the way up. Just a wash like that. And you can use the formula wet or dry as well. So you can wet your brush if you want more intense color. But I just want to do a soft, soft wash of color. So you see something like that, just a little wash of color. And then the pencil was I'm gonna get a bit more the shape. So now I'm gonna to go to this one here. It's a little deeper, it's more grayish tone. And I just do a little bit on the crease area. And then just blend it out back and forth. This one just for the depth. And then you can pull it out a little bit more. You lift it up a little bit here. And then you just really blend it, edge it out. You can leave it a harsh lines up to you, but I think I'm gonna blend it out a little bit and lift it upward like this. A little more color to be more intense. I'm doing the same on the other side. Okay, so it'd be something like that. I mean, it's gonna be as close as I could get, just so you're aware. So next, I'm not gonna use black, I'm using a dark taupey color. So I'm doing mostly from the outer part and the bottom one here a little bit, just really extended the eye out. You can see that I just want to pull the eye a lot more. And just mostly out here. You can use black if you like to, but I think, you know, like we overuse the black too much. You know, sometimes try a different color. This is a bit more softer. It's more like a dark taupey color. And this is just really just help to elongate the eye even more. And this is a great gel long wear liner, but keep in mind that you only apply one side at a time and just always keep your lid closed, otherwise it's gonna dry it out. And this is the waterproof gel pencil formula. You see, I just blend it out a little bit. And this one is matte finish.
and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if she looks straight. I'm gonna follow the, the lash line a little bit this way. I'm gonna do the same on the side. Next, going back to the lighter shades you use. And I just really brush it out this corner here. So it's everything kind of lifted. I like everything kind of blended. I don't want everything to like a line. Even you see the smudgy thing, the line I'm still smudge it out. And the middle part is still smudge it out. And then I'm gonna go back again. Just enhance the intense more the center of the eye a little more. It would be something like that. Donya lashes naturally really curly like this already. She's blessed with that, so I'm not gonna curl the lashes. But for mascara, I'm gonna apply two coats on the upper lashes and one on the lower lashes. This is more a volumizing mascara and a curling humidity resistant. And I like the idea of you see that the color is kind of like blue grayish color. So it's not your typical black. And I think it's fun, you know, sometimes you don't always use to see a little black liner and a black mascara. I think this is like a beautiful way to play with makeup. And a lot of people, they don't want black mascara either. They think it's too black on them. So this is not an option for you to use. And this is, wow. This is a vegan formula, by the way. So it becomes something like this. But what I'm gonna do, because I, you see that I really elongate the eye. And then, so I'm gonna try to do a little bit from the inside as well. And so I need to look down this way for me. I'm gonna do a little bit here, not too much. Cause I wanna make it very soft, you know, elongate out so it's just a little bit like that and just darken the edge it out a little bit like this and then roll your eye this side for me yeah and just a little touch like that you know it will make a big difference on the eye shape so it's just like how we're gonna play with them i'm not trying to change her features at all but because i'm trying to do very elongate the eye so i'm only do this way but i'm gonna try to do for the inner part as well That is something for the eye. And you can see that because the lash is so natural curl like this. So I didn't curl by myself. So it's just a little bit many directions. So I'm just play with them a little bit and I try to make it a bit more spiky just for the fun of that. For blush, I'm going to use Valentino Beauty Eyes to Cheek Blush and Eyeshadow. This you can use as an eyeshadow as well, but I'm gonna use this as a blush. And this is a cream to powder formula. It's radiant finish. It's very lightweight. I'm trying you very soft color. This color is just almost like, you know, skin-like, a little hint of color, and which I love. And it is buildable, so you can add as much you want to, or add little you want to. And the best way to use this formula, you see the way I apply, you just do like this. Dab, dab, dab in that. Same on this side. For highlighter, I'm going to use REM Beauty Interstellar Highlighter Topper. The shade I'm using is Miss Mercury. But again, if you didn't catch what I say, I'll list this on the description box. I use with a fan brush like this. This is a very beautiful highlighter and you can use very subtle or you can use, you know, a lot of highlight, it depends how you apply it. I'm gonna do very little, just very subtle finish. But if you want to go in there, you can get a lot of sheen. And it is multi-dimensional shine and it is a dual finish. It's quite beautiful. A little bit of nose. Keep it bow. For lips, I'm going to use two products from Rare Beauty. The Kai Words Lip Liner 
and the Kyworth Matte Lipstick, both in the shade Talented. This is more like a warm nude shade, and the lip liner and the lipstick is basically it is the same shade. Danya have really beautiful lip shape. I'm not gonna go overdraw anything like that at all. I just follow her lip shape. But as I mentioned in my previous video, it's about lips. You understand is that someone when you do lipstick, this from here, they consider that the lip shape. Some people they go over this to that to them. They also that consider their lip shape. Some people they go right on the bridge here to them that is considered lip shape so it's up to you you can go from right the color right here or you can go right that part or you can go right above that it's still considered lip shape depend how full or how thin you are how lip are so it's all personal preference what i normally do when i ask my client to do is slightly smile your lips a little more no teeth big smile no teeth and you can see the shape and then that's when you can start drawing. So I always to do from here, I draw the lip shape first. And you see, I'm not gonna go there because I think that's under the drawing. So I'm gonna go right where her natural lip shape is. You can go a little over if you want more fuller. I just do a little bit like that. Slightly big smile a little more. Same on this way. And then do the same on this side. So if you want really full, you can go just a little above that. But I just go just right where her lips is. Stop. So that's where the lips is. I'm gonna fill it in a little bit first before I do the lipstick. For someone who like gloss, I think after the lip liner, you can just put the lip gloss and ready to go. But I'm gonna do more matte lipstick for this look. So I'm gonna use the same shade of lip liner. And this is a beautiful nude lipstick. It's more warmer nude not too flat because sometimes nude lipstick could be very flat and this is more a creamy finish very rich pigmented it's soft matte but it's more like I feel like a still creamy it's not too dry matte at all and uh, paraben vegan and cruelty free To set the makeup, I'm going to use One Side Beauty On To Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. That's the final look, guys. I hope you enjoyed the look. It's more a fun holiday makeup look. And thank you so much for coming to the channel. Yeah. And I hope everyone likes, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet and share the video and have a wonderful holiday. Thank you.